to see how I got this look with the Natasha Denona Gold palette, keep watching. Hi guys, welcome back to Lou's Beauty Closet. If you're new, hi, I'm Lou. I post weekly beauty, luxury and lifestyle videos. Be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and ring the bell so you don't miss a video. And without further ado, let's get into it. So I am back again guys with another look with this Natasha Denona Gold palette. This is her holiday release. This time I've done, it's still a gorgeous glam look, but just not as sort of out there and overtly festive. So I'll show you guys how I did that coming up. Okay, so I've prepped my eyelid with my standard MAC paint pot and done my brow, going into the shade Teak, using my Sigma E40 brush, and I'm just blending that as my transition shade. So I'm patting it down and then blending it out, just as a nice graduation to color. Then we're going into my MAC 217, and we're going into the shade Log, and we're going to put that as like a wing on the um, outer V and, and blend that into my, just above my natural crease, because of my hooded eyes. So I'm just winging it out and blending it inwards as you can see, so just dragging it out, blending it into the shadow sort of wings like a V. So just keep blending and blending just keep going until you feel like you're happy with the amount the coverage and the blend as well then i'm going into my mac 242 and i'm going into the shade virus and i'm just patting it on the outer v so i'm just laying it down and using that shape of the brush just patting motions and taking it out into that v shape as well not too far out just a little so that's what it looks like you can see i've winged it a bit and now we're going to flip the brush to the other side and we're going into the shade alchemist and we're going to pat that onto the center of our lid but we're also going to overlap where we placed a varus before just so that it helps with our blend so we're patting using the edge of the brush again to shape my eye. You can see me starting to form that shape. So we're not using any concealer, we're just using the brush and the shadow. So that's what that looks like. So we're just patting and overlapping. Then I'm going in with my finger because I want more coverage and more of like a wow factor. So I'm just placing that on the center again. Still with the 242 and we're going into the shade Orium and we're going to put that on our inner corner and we're also going to overlap that again and you can see that I'm really holding that brush really close to the ferrule and I'm using that edge of the brush to shape my eye you can see that curve I've started to create so I'm just stamping it so do short small patting motions don't do too much don't drag it just short patting motions and sort of stamping it on so you can see that's the shape we've got so for this next step, we're going to flip either, you can either use your finger, you can either use a pencil brush like this one, the Zoeva 223, and you can even spray it with some of your uh, makeup setting spray, just the light spritz. So either or, whichever one you feel comfortable with, I'm going into the shade Carver, it's like a topper, and we're going to place this on the center of our lid. Just tap it lightly. So you can either spray the brush you're using or just use your finger, and we're just placing that in the center. Then we're going into our 217. I haven't got any shadow on it and I'm just going to blend the edges of that where we've made the, where we've um, overlapped on the V. You can use concealer if you want, but it's just easy if you just blend it out. And now we're going to pick up Log and we're just taking a small amount and we're just going to pat that over that V shape and just blend so we have a nice seamless transition. <music> So now I'm taking my Zoeva 223 brush and we're going back into Teak and Log and we're using those two shades on our lower lash line. So I'm putting Teak first on a, just blending it the whole way across then using the same brush going into Log and just placing that on the outer part of the lower lash line and blending it upwards so it meets. Then we're taking our Sigma E40 and we're just going to use that to help blend. Going back into my 223 and I'm picking up that shade Carver again and putting that on the inner corner. You can use your finger if you want or any sort of small pencil brush you have. 
and I'm using my Wayne Goss number eight and we are, you guessed it, tight lining. Going into the shade Log and I'm just going to tight line my eyes. If you don't want to put any wing liner on, you can just leave it at tight lining. But I'm going to do a wing, so I'm going in with my Fenty Fly Liner and putting on some lashes. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. How did you like that? Hope you enjoyed that as well. So I've really had some fun playing with this palette. Like I said previously with all the other looks I've done, all I tend to just do my eyes first with this palette. It just helps minimize that fallout and a lot of the glitters are chunkier. I realized that I played a lot with the left hand side of the palette so I wanted to use the right hand side more and you can kind of see that it's set up as like this looks a bit more toned down a bit more neutral and this is quite bold so I played pretty much played with all the colors here. So we use brass, varium, carver, orium, all of them we use and this shade carver I'm gonna show you guys with my torch because this shade because it's that crystal finish it doesn't do it justice just looking at it in daylight at night time is when you use colors like this guys i went under my lights and you can see the sparkle and the twinkle of the shade it was super close and zoomed in i just wanted to show you guys this top coat the crystal i've got my lights on as well so i'm just going to close my eyes and shine a torch on it too but i hope you can see that all the shadows in the Natasha Donona palette with the um, initial K, those are crystal formulas. They're designed to be like a top coat. So if you do your shadow and your look and then you put that on top, like I did with this one, it gives you the most gorgeous, gorgeous iridescent shimmer under lights. So that would be perfect for when you're going out at night time and it's like glam and you know you're gonna have like strobe lights and stuff on you because you'll just be glowing and glistening like the beautiful disco ball that you are so i've got all my lights on so i'm just trying to get you guys to see this because you can't really see this in the in the close-up aurora is the chroma crystal and then this one sparks and Kava are the crystals, so those are like toppers so this palette is pretty versatile i'm really enjoying it if this is like the only palette you buy for like seven months it's pretty good <laughs> but yeah i just wanted to show you guys i'm enjoying myself i don't think i've been this excited for like a palette release in a while so i also used the color pop um i love sarahi lippy in mamacita and this is like a bit more vampy on my lips so sometimes you know you still want to use red or those bold vampy colors but it's just a bit more turned down so this is obviously isn't red this is like a blood purple sort of like just a vampy color i love vampy shades so i just paired that with this you could tone it down a bit more and wear a nude lippy as well with this one if the eyes is a bit much for you kind of like a soft cut crease kind of look without doing all the concealer and everything just a bit simple yeah so i hope this series has helped you and all the um, looks that i've done with this palette if you are considering this palette or you're just curious as to how much use you could get out of it i hope it's inspired you to create some looks also if you guys do follow natasha denona's um instagram um instagram page or even her youtube channel she posts looks with the palettes all her palettes as well and i even i've been getting inspired with some of the shades she's using and you know some of these shades you can just use them in their entirety like you know sometimes you think you need mattes to build up a look break the rules use a shimmer all over your lid use shimmer in your crease you know <laughs> go for gold so guys next week i'll be doing new year's eve looks and i definitely want to do another new year's look again with the mecca max palette i've got the cranberry palette i can do another look with this again considering that this one's a lot more affordable a lot more people would have probably bought this and also because on first glance you look at these shades and you think oh they're a bit limiting what else could i do with it i don't mind doing another look with that if you really haven't had enough of this palette i can do a new year's look with this i also got myself the nas provocateur palette if you watch my makeup holiday haul which i'll link up here i also did um i did a massive haul and that was part of my christmas gift to myself so that palette's got some gorgeous duo chromes and bold smoky shades too so that'll be fun for new year's or I could even do the Pat McGrath Bronze Seduction. I picked that up in her sale and I haven't really played with it yet because it's part of my Christmas gift. So I'll either put a poll up here, which palette you guys want me to use out of those four mentioned, or I'll ask you guys again, I'll put a comment down below and get you guys to just pick because I think that would be fun. Whichever palette, I know not everybody will be buying a $129 palette. You might have picked this one up, you might have picked the NARS one up, or just for fun, you know? Be sure to hit the bell. <laughs> It's <laughs> weekly. Okay.
gonna do that again. <laughs> don't look at the lashes, guys. <laughs> don't look, don't look. <laughs> Thank you so much guys for tuning into this video, I hope you enjoyed it, I know I have definitely enjoyed playing with this palette. On your way out, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos like this and ring the bell so you don't miss any videos. I can't wait to see you back here again. Click here to catch my last video, click here to also subscribe and click here for more from News Beauty Closet. Until next time guys.